So this process that I'm just walking you through on the screen now is uh, what I go through every year when I'm trying to decide um, what kind of theme or style I want to do on my tree. Um, I always make a board at first and then I just go from one picture to the next to the next and gather a whole collection of pictures and images to make a board. And sometimes it's just an element that I might like of the tree, whether it's a colour scheme or um, a specific decoration or um, the shape of the tree or whatever it is. Um, and I'll just put them all together on a board so that way I can go through and um, that's how I decide, you know, on the theme that I want to do or the style that I want um, or the colours. Um, I'll then go about either shopping, making or, you know, decorating and then um, I'll often come back again numerous times um, when I'm kind of unsure about what to put on or if I feel like something's missing or, um, you know, how many decorations I need, how far apart I should space them, you know, how many varieties I need. So I basically wanted to explain that the process that I go through um, from Pinterest when I'm looking for inspiration and creating a board um, and then to the decorating of my own tree relates to the making and responding strands of the curriculum, which um, I'm going to explain further in a couple of slides. Um, but when I'm looking through the uh, images on Pinterest as an audience member viewing them, I'm, you know, responding by evaluating them and critiquing them. And then I'm taking those evaluations to my own tree um, and my own creation. And I'm reflecting on it and refining it based on, you know, the inspiration that I'm drawing from Pinterest. So I really consider looking through Pinterest as kind of looking at another artist's artwork uh, because you get to see all the different styles and the themes and the way that they present uh, their, their traditions and their cultures. Um, at the top of the screen there's all these different tabs there like rustic, natural, country, Australian, modern and goes on and on. And this really gives clues as to a lot of the different styles that you can look at as as in any kind of artwork where um, there's a different style of artwork. Um, and that does still apply with Christmas trees because you can have a Scandi look, you can have a minimalist look, a traditional, you know, with the, with the red and greens, or you can have like really modern color, color schemes. Um, and I really enjoy this. I love just looking at all the different ways that different countries and cultures interpret the decorating of the tree. Um, I don't want to go into all the details about it because they're not all relevant to the task, but um, I really think you can get inspiration from these and really find a lot of meaning in, in the different styles because, you know, if you look at Germany where the Christmas tree really originated, they, um, they still put real candles on their trees 
uh, you know, to France where they put apples or the US where they put strings of popcorn, you know, Britain, Australia, every every country has their little uh, take on on the Christmas tradition and, you know, there's meaning behind all of those all of those decorations that they choose. So I think that it is really a source of um, inspiration and you can find a lot of meaning in it.